Hello and welcome back to SMT5. So last time we failed against the Matador and I was tempted to go back and try it again. There are some obvious improvements that we can do to our team. Like right off the bat, if we were to make ourselves immune to force, that becomes a much easier fight, like a significantly easier fight. However, I think we're not gonna do that. And my main reason for not doing that is basically because I feel like the fight would be better if we had a few extra things. One, damage output. Right away, like, we were not putting out a lot of damage per turn. Some tournaments we were putting out, like, 20 damage. That's gonna take a while to kill. Like, I think it had a couple thousand health, so if we're doing 20 damage a turn, that's just not gonna cut it. That's just way too slow and we're running out of resources and basically putting too much into the fight. The second thing is, we didn't really have a lot of support moves hitting it, and that was something that I noticed when we brought in uh, Rakshasa, is that the fight became a lot easier. Like, when we put it in and we started lowering the stats, that fight became a lot more winnable. And I think if we had more status moves, that would work a lot better. However, I don't think that we're in a position to take a lot of uh, status moves because we only have five slots. And only having five slots means that if we bring in someone who's only going to affect it with uh, status moves, well, then that means that we end up in this weird situation where now we've taken out one of our potential damage dealers to apply a debuff. And we still have the situation where we're running out of MP very quickly. So, I think what we need to do is we need to just, like, increase the number of options we have for the fight, increase our regeneration as well, and see how things go from there. Like, for instance... If we were in that fight to have had, I'm going to go into the World of Shadows to, to show this one off, but I could describe it as well. If we were to have a certain well, miracle, that fight would have gone a lot differently. Um, like If we had this miracle right here, right, where we slightly recover HP and MP if the Magatsuhi gauge is full at the start of a turn, that fight could have been completely different. Because instead of running out of uh, MP, we could have stalled for a couple of turns on full Magatsuhi, got ourselves a reasonable amount of MP to continue, and then used our abilities and had a lot more damage output from that. I think that could have been a, a much better way for us to have played it. However, we Return. don't have the glory for that, so uh, yeah, we're just going to have to wait until uh, we find another Mii Man. Anyway, uh, now we've talked about Matador, why did I spend so much time talking about him? Well. Because we're going to move on, and there is apparently another thing that we can fight, another potential boss. Now, it's over here. I don't know if this one is classified as a boss or not, but Big Bird is apparently level 25. So, let's try fighting it. Let's see what happens. Um, because I want to fight it, I guess we're just going to run up here and just jump around, and then it will appear. Yeah, like it's going to run down at us. I have absolutely no idea what Big Bird's strengths are or anything like that, so we did hit it, I think. It goes first? Yeah, thought it might. Okay, another force-based character. To be expected, it is a bird. So again, force nullification might actually be good for this one as well. Let's chuck ourselves on a Spidlass and see what we're getting. So this is Jatayu, um, as critical wave, which is weak physical, high chance of critical. Zanma, Suku Kajo, so raises accuracy and evasion. You know what? This is just the same fight we did. This is the Matador fight. And then Lunge. It's like, these are just worse versions of the Matador um, abilities. Okay, interesting. Now it's weak to dark, which means that in theory we could instant kill it. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Budo? It was weak, didn't instant kill. Okay, I'm gonna use Tarunda to lower its uh, attack. That's fine. Uh, Oni? Uh, heavy blow? Okay, it has a lot of health. Um, here we're gonna go for... What was the other thing it was weak to? Um, electric. Okay, hit it. Nice. And then try Mudo again. Hmm, didn't instant kill again. There is a chance it's immune because it's a boss type enemy, but we'll see. Oh, lived thanks to Turunda. Wonderful, we need to do a heal next turn, that's fine. 
definitely need to do a heal next turn. Full Maggot Suhi. Uh, this isn't the turn to do anything with it. Let's use Zeal. The thing that this one doesn't have that Matador did is a natural high agility, I think, or naturally as high in agility, um, because it looks like uh, we're actually able to hit it fairly consistently. Let's hit it with another attack down. We could have healed uh, Ami, but I think we can actually go all the way around and get to it again. So that's fine. Zeal. There we go. Do a uh, full heal. Perfect. Perfect. Um, and then, I don't know. I don't know what we want to try here. Could do Bufula. Could just attack. Uh, let's just attack. See how that goes. So, it raises its evasion, that's fine. <clears throat> then lunges and doesn't do a ton of damage. Okay. I think I still want to try using this, even though we might miss. I think this is a good idea. I might be wrong, but I think it is. Let's go for a Zeal. Okay. Let's go for Mudo. Yeah, I think it's probably immune to instant kill, given that Mudo just did an instant kill there. Um, attack. Cool. That's fine. And then heavy blow, which is going to be a greater effect. Nice. Follow that up with another zeal. Follow that up with another mudo. Uh, I might do a heal on Kuri. Just to uh, top up the uh, old health bar. Then Oni can hit with heavy blow. Nice. All of that's fairly good. We got a critical and a resist. Okay, we're still fine. Unless it hits Ami with a, a thing. No, we're fine. Okay. Zeal. Okay. Followed up by heal. Definitely need some extra um, MP on Ami. Uh, let's go for... Karunda, because that's about to wear off. Okay. Uh, just go for an attack. It might miss. Yeah, I knew that was a possibility. Because it's got the increased accuracy, um, increased evasion and accuracy stuff, that probably means it's just a likely miss in general. Right. Uh, Chakra drop. That's uh, worth two heals. Because it gave us 50 um, MP, so that's almost exactly two heals. Let's have a look here. Uh, that's not going to wear off. Let's do a heal onto uh, that one. Because that will then mean that if we get hit by a force move, we won't instantly die. Try and attack. Missed. Okay. That's fine. Perfect. Do more of those. Did crit, unfortunately. Um, we're mostly okay. We are, however, going to have to use another Shackra Drop here. Although we can do the Shackra Drop next turn. Yeah, if I use Zero this turn, we don't have to, um... Yeah. Uh, we don't have to use Shackra Drop right away. Heal. Right. Curry. We want to make sure that his attack is actually lowered. Oni. Pass because we want to secure ourselves getting a uh, an MP up. Okay. Then um, hits it with a Mudo. The problem with Mudo is it does use MP, and your heal is really good. I might pass here. Oh, uh, pass here. Followed by using. Oh. Yeah, I thought you could still use one more, um, like, Turunda. I guess you'll just guard. I probably should have guarded on the previous turn, then. Raised its accuracy and evasion. Hits us for 33. Absolutely fine. Uh, Zeal. Perfect. Followed up but We do have Zeonga, I suppose. We could try this. I actually missed that we had that. That's, that's a good one. Um, Turunda. Keep that applied. Worth an attack, because even if we miss, then we still get an, we still get a move here. Zeal. That's horrible. 
No crit. Wonderful. Won't use it twice in a row. Um, okay, I think we go for criticals here. Uh, so let's activate that. You ready? And now we just hit it for as much as we can. So, um, Zeal. Awesome. Uh, that will leave me at... 37... 27. Yes, yeah, so this is fine. I just wanted to make sure we had enough for a heal at the end of this. Uh, don't need to reapply that, so we'll just do attack. Hate that. Uh, heavy blow. Don't miss. Great. Okay. Zeal. Fantastic. Right, and then I wanted to make sure I had enough for this heal. Cool. Right, I think that means that we can swap that one out, actually, as well. Um, we don't need to do that, so let's do Bufula. Just to do a crit. We're fine. We're very fine. Okay. Uh, we're going to heal with Kikuri. Uh, I can change on the next turn, so actually, let's do Zeo. Right. Change to something that has electric attacks, uh, which is, is it you? I don't think it's you, <laughs> uh, which is Inugami. Yeah, I'll do. Let's okay, go. we now have electric dog. That's fine. Uh, we'll do a little heal here. Seems good. Oh, do we need to reapply Turunda? We do. Attack, lightning, lightning, reapply. Let's try it. Don't miss. Cool. Lightning. Lightning. Cool. Reapply. Okay. And attack. Uh, yeah, another attack. That seems fine. Got it below half HP. Let's see what it does. Dog lift. Okay. Yep. Could still do with some uh, resistance to that. We don't have any, but we could do with one. Right, hit it again. Hit it again. Okay. We're now starting to do some serious damage each turn. Uh, let's do a heal here. I'm more worried about us surviving, because if we die, the fight ends. Attack. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Uh, we're out of Zeos. We can start using our items. Let's go for an Elect Shard. I know I was using these against Matador, and we might need them for Matador, but that's fine. This is our new target. Zeo. Wonderful. Do a little heal here. Everyone's all topped up apart from Oni, and that's fine. Attack. Okay, cool. About 60% down now. That's again just an annoying thing. Uh, oh, I didn't even realize I hadn't done one of those yet. We have to guard. The reason we have to guard is it has one that can... Um, I was going to say because it has one that can crit, but it already... I just realized that um, this is also crits. It's probably going to use Mazan anyway, but it's... Yeah, we, we just need to guard. We don't want to be crit, so... That's fine. Oh, sorry, it's, it's Zan Ma. I forgot Mazan is Matador. Okay, that's fine. Absolutely fine. No issue. We're going to get Magatsuhi next turn. Uh, let's use Elect Shard. Take this! Okay, Inogami. Go for another uh, Zeo. Okay. Uh, do I need to reapply this? I do. In fact, it's not applied at all. That's annoying, but I think that's more important than anything else we could possibly apply right now. It's it. Another Elect Shard. We're getting there, we're getting there. Another Zeo. Okay. 
lower its attack again. This might be the end of Inogami, but that's okay. Uh, hit it. Missed. Okay, that's fine. Perfect first move. Don't think we can die now. Uh, did crit. Famous last words, we actually died. Okay. So if we're facing that one, we also want um, like a resistance at the very least to force or an immunity. Okay, but that one, we had the same problems with Matt as Matador. Like, that was the exact same fight, just with some extra bits on, like, some extra bells and whistles. Um, like, that fight is just purely, we're not doing enough damage. And it's the same fight, it's the same weaknesses. Okay, cool. I need to think about that. Um, do we have a force thing? As in, do we have an, a force affinity we can switch to? Welcome yeah, yeah, welcome to the world of shadows where demons gather. Uh, right, for us, anybody got an immunity to force? Hmm. Feeling like the answer is a solid no. It, it, that's the best we got, is a resistance. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Now, we could look down here and see whether there's any that we don't own. Oh, sorry, any that we don't currently have that have that what we're looking for. Because if there are, we could potentially buy it. Sudama is what we're looking for. Okay. So, uh, how much is Return. a Sudama essence? Probably 4,000? Yeah, probably 4,000, I'd guess. That makes sense. So, let's have a look. Uh, we will sell anything that we got, which isn't an awful lot, but um, we could always go on a money-making thing. I, I wanted to go into buy for once. I actually wanted to buy something. You okay? Back in here. Kihi, yes, Kihi. Uh, I wish to buy a... Hmm, so that's Kodama. Slightly strong. We're looking for immune. Any of these immune against force? Right, slightly strong, slightly strong, slightly strong, slightly strong. Yes. Okay, so none of those are what we're looking for. So if I want it, I need to go kill a bunch of Sudamas. I mean, we could do that. There's no issue. How far are we off the next level, though? That's kind of my next question on that one. Like, is it worth doing? Nah, we're really far from the next level, so all we'd be doing is fishing for that essence. I think what I'd much prefer to do is move on with the game and find um, something later that has that, just naturally. I think that's a much better use of our time. Um, it was suggested as well that we go for the abscesses heavily, because abscesses give um, miracles, and then if you get the miracles, you can then, um, well, you can buy them. And some of them are like, hey, you get extra skills, and all of that. So we should have a look at the next one of those and see what... Um, We'll see how difficult it is, basically. It also reveals the map a little bit, which makes exploring it better. So, again, it all makes a lot of sense that we should do that. And there is one over... Let's have a look. It's over this way, I think. Um, there's, I mean, there's one every direction, but there's one's particularly close here. Yeah, so if we go straight down and turn right, there's somewhere we can go. There's also, like, a little building. You see, like, if we go across that bridge to in the direction we're facing... It's like a building over there that we can get to. Hmm. Let's have a look at this. So is there a way up here? There is. Nice. That is not a way up there. Okay, never mind. Uh, we could go this way. Yeah, it gets us up there. So in here. Cross over. Then we're going to go left around the building. Okay. Oop. Gets us onto this part. That was actually a demon that we just ran past. Through here. Up this way. This is what I saw on the map. Oh, hello. Yep. Poison gem. Actually pretty useful. We got rid of all of our poison gems. And right at the end here. Hello. Light Sutra. Um, what was the Sutra again? Is that a thing that gives us an extra thing? I always forget. Light Sutra. 
Uh, increases a demons. Okay, no. So it's not us. It's a demon that we have. Increases its potential. Which we don't want to do because we really only want them for demons. We're keeping on a longer term basis. And right now we're not. Pretty much means they're only for late game. Depending on how many we get. Vitality balm. Balms are for us though, right? Uh, balm. Um, is where? I thought it would be in here. Oh, there we go. Vitality bomb. Yeah, it's for us. I'll take that. That's fantastic. Right, just a free uh, stat. I think free stats are actually incredibly good. It's like, it's not quite as good as it was in 3. In 3, because you only got one stat a level up. Like, a free stat was incredible, because effectively you were getting a free level up. But, it's still pretty good in this. It's a free, um, like, stat, so it's a third of a level up, effectively. Although you do get four stats on a level up here, because you also get the one that you choose, so... This is a quarter of a level up, if we're being, like, proper about it, but still. It's good. Like, any amount of a level up is good, given the usual way you get it is you have to actually level up. So, let's see if there's anything down here. Where does this path go? It goes down to the right? That must be where the abscess is. Okay. In here, we just saved, so I'm not worried about being hit. Alright, it's gonna spawn a bunch of things soon. I got caught. I got caught in the scenery. They're weak to ice. Don't kill me. Uh, ow. Gathering Magatsuhi. We might be able to kill them this turn. Uh, I'm not 100% that we can't kill them. Let's see. 61. Okay, are they weak to anything else? Not really. We could heal, but I think we have to attack if we're going for it. Like, just go all in. Uh, Bufula on this one. Cool. Um, low accuracy on that one, but we can go medium physical for the kill. Nice, that does 62 damage. Good to uh, know. Bufu. And a little Zionga. Nice. Everyone got a little XP. We got Fire Shard. I'm just trying to switch menus quickly, which is why we went into the wrong menu there. I was just like, just need to do it. Go. Oh, I wasn't running. There we go. Now I'm running. And now we got it. Okay. What's this one? Two Jack Frost. They're weak to fire. I know this one. They're just weak to fire. Um, however, uh, let's find out. Here. Strong against ice, weak to fire. There we go. They, they, they actually nullify um, ice and they're strong and they're weak against fire. Ooh, a unique ability. Jack Bufula. Each of mice attack to one foe lowers target's defense by one rank for every three uh, for three turns. I have ice immunity on right now, don't I? Well, that's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Zionga. Okay, we have a rough idea about the health that we're working on here. Um, I should like take somebody out if I can. Maybe Mazan, just hit them both. Yeah, start doing damage to both of them. Let me have a look. Have I got anybody has a fire move? I think I took out my fire. Oh no, Inugami has fire moves, but you're weak to ice. That's a real uh, issue. In fact, I have a lot of ice weaknesses. You're fire? Not weak to ice? You are weak to ice. Uh, you have fire and you're not weak to ice. You are, however, terrible, but we'll go with you anyway. It might just die, as a possibility. Um, you know what, I'll keep my fire shard for next turn. We'll just use Agilal this turn. Cool, that was good damage. Yep, ow. He's alive, that's all he needs to be. Right, let's go for a critical. Watch this. Wonderful. Right. And now we just lay into them. Agilal. I think, yeah, I was thinking I might use um, the AoE shard, but I think Agilal's fine. 
Zionga. Nice. Um, Mazan, because it hits both of them. Um, Maraji. Cool. Didn't really do that much that much damage, but that's okay. Cool. Keep hitting them. Mazan. I know that we've got one that's near death, but I'm willing to uh, take the hit. That's going to do no damage. <laughs> Just reading what how it works. Didn't quite kill the Jack Frost. Oh no. Alright, so they get two ice moves. Hit one who wasn't hurt already. Cool. Hit me next. Hit me next. Gathering Ma Ma uh, Makatsuhi. This is fine. This is a perfect fire shard situation, I think. Take this! Didn't quite kill it, but we're almost there. Zionga. I know that we have a lot that are very low on health. Alright, we got that one. Maharaji. Just for the extra turn, basically. Um, you know what? Agilal. That's fine. Uh, guarding is pointless. Healing makes sense. The reason why guarding is pointless is obviously because we're already hurt. It's not going to like give us anything. Let's just lower its attack. They, they would just kill us through the guard. Hit me. Perfect. It worked. Just straight block. Oh no. Well, you made a mistake. Right. It, they seem to like to spread damage out. I've noticed that about the AI in this game. Like, it's very about spreading out damage. Which, you know, is great for me, but, like, I don't think it's the smartest AI I've ever seen. We're purely using Aquinas just to give us an extra turn as well. Oh, wait, that was the miss? Not Aquinas? Really? That was the one that missed? Okay, um, well, attack. Let's keep slicing away. Attack. We're actually out. Oh, we got a crit. Nice. Zanma. Cool. Killed it. 2,400 XP. Ice Dampener is okay. 5,660 for Aquinas. <laughs> Crazy. Abscess gone. And we got this. So knowledge of tools, demon disciple, and then masteries. I don't know what demonic disciple, or, or, oh, that's actually discipline. Yeah, okay, demonic discipline, knowledge of tools are new. <laughs> okay. Tao used her healing powers. I forgot you could do that, and also forgot you were here. Um, well, that's good, and that revealed a lot of the map. Okay. So there's an abscess up here, but we can't even go that direction right now. Okay. Well, that clears up a lot. Let's return. And see what our options are. World of Shadows. Where demons gather. Uh -huh. New miracle. Welcome to the world. Right, so apotheosis, learn miracles. Knowledge of tools allows your demons to use items during battle. That's amazing. That's so useful and valuable. That's incredible. Okay. That goes into the incredible tier. Demonic Discipline. Increase the amount of XP earned by demons in your stock after a battle. Pretty good. Don't get me wrong. This one's pretty good. I would have been stoked for this one if had I not just read Knowledge of Tools. <laughs> and then we have Masteries, which I don't care about. Okay. I mean, I do care, but like they're, they're low on the list. Knowledge of you Tools is so learn. good, it goes immediately on, on. Like, it goes beyond anything else. Okay. Um, leave here. Return. Let's do a little uh, heal, a little save, and then... Well, we don't even do, need to do that much healing. It's just getting our, getting our MP back, basically. Cost us 900, but still. It's, it's not really that much. Uh, and then we'll chronicle our deeds and uh, see where we're going next. Oh, that was That's great. Being able to use tools on everybody. That makes items so much more valuable. The problem with items in the previous games is that it always limited what your main character could do. 
because your main character was like, okay, if I have an item, it's going to take my turn, right? No matter what, that item will take my turn and nobody else can use the item. So you could never spread it out. But now any of our demons can use the items. It changes the equation. Now it's like, okay, well, if I have a couple of these items, if somebody else has no nothing to do on their turn, like if I have a bunch of fire shards, I can just fill a weakness in my team with some items instead. And that works perfectly. That's a great change. Love it. Let's put Inogami in, just for just now. And we'll go with this, for, we'll run this as our squad. Right. So now we've done that. Um, let's see. Got a couple of treasures on the bridge we could grab and then head towards the main quest. Yeah, I think that's fine. Also, uh, Chronicle Deeds again, because I forgot what I did between that and last time. Probably nothing. Yeah, a minute passed, so probably nothing. Uh, where are we? Want to go right from here up to the bridge, if possible. Yeah, like this way. Actually, perfect. Yeah, then I want to go across there. Maybe up this way? There we go. Then there should be treasure down here. Just collect all of this. Oh, you want some? Well, do ya? Ah. Yeah, I forgot about this one. Fortuna's Essence. What is Fortuna's Essence? It's a new essence for us. Immunity to Force? Ho oh, ho, what skills do we get? Okay. I think Immunity to Force is fantastic there. It's actually exactly what I was asking for. Oh, I think the thing is on the bridge. Never mind. I was like waiting for it to say, You want some? Well, do ya? But it's on the bridge, so... That's fine. Um, I'm going to save. You might be like, why do you save so much? Uh, the answer is because I've learned from experience. And this game will punish you if you don't save a lot. Uh, well, because, you know, it might just kill you. At which point, you then have to do it all over again. So, we might as well just save. And save us, you know, it takes 10 seconds now. Save us a minute or two later. Anyway. Uh, up hey, here. Hey, hey. Yeah, there's our hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Uh huh. Spyglass. Yeah, it's okay. I'll take it. Straight past the Andrasses. We know there's something at the end here. We also see another treasure. Uh, I didn't think we were going to hit him. I thought we were going to hit his feet. Turns out it's one and the same. That's fine. Nice resist. Okay. Now, I want to hit it with an AoE electric move here, I think. Yeah, I want to hit it with AoE electric. The problem is he did raise the accuracy on the left one, so there is a chance that we get screwed here. Like, if the left one dodged. Turns out that didn't happen, but that's okay. Lots of damage on Andras. It's our highest priority because Andras is the one that's buffing them. I could be fooler on this one. Cool. Uh, let's go for another Mazeo. Killed the Andras. Another Mazeo will kill the one on the right. No matter. The one on the right was the one that dodged. The one without the uh, extra dodge was the one that dodged. Couldn't have seen that one coming. Hit it. Cool. We got them all anyway. Right. They were lower level than us, so that's kind of the other thing. Tao used healing powers. Nice. Grab these, and... Hey, Amino Azumi's Essence. Nice. Alright, let's have a look here. Essence, um, that's fine. Skills, looking alright. Resist Light is a really good one to have. Okay. Hello. Nothing beyond here. Deep, dark ocean. Miles and miles. Another six glory. I'll take it. Okay. I assume there had to be something uh, out this way just because, you know, the map continued after we already got the treasure. Uh, and now we're going to head to the right. There's no save, so I'm not going to save again. So, whoop, down here. And did we get warned about a powerful demon here? I think we did. 
I think we got warned about a powerful demon. This is... The reading has moved. I'll display the location. Be careful. I presume we will find a demon there as well. Save the students continued. Okay. Is there a me man up here? This looks like a place to hide a me... Man? Um... Oh, ah, there we go. Knew there had to be one on the bridge. Absolutely knew there had to be one here. You came from Tenozu side? Shinagawa Pier, just ahead. Oh, there was something we could only catch. There was something that we could catch at Shinagawa Pier, and I was like, I don't know where that is. Well, apparently it's ahead. I think it was Inogami, actually. Young man, I have a question about that student, Sahori. She had Lamu take the lives of two fellow students. Is it truly right for us to bring her back with the rest? Um, it's what Tao wants. So this is actually a choice, I think. Yeah, because the way that these games generally work is it gives you like a few dialogue options and then at the end it's like, and here's your, um, you know, ending from the results, like of what dialogue options you got. Or it'll say like, here are the ones you can choose. So, this I think is definitely going to be like, a choice somewhere like you're siding with Bethel or you're not siding with Bethel like or order versus chaos but yeah I think right now for us we do what Tao wants it just makes sense ah it's the will of her holiness and since someone wishes for the safe return of a friend it's only natural to make efforts to see that wish granted thanks to your insight I feel as if I understand human behavior a little more well we should move on it seems like, just my theory in this one, that our dialogue choices are less like we're choosing the fate of like the world, but more we're choosing the fate of Awagami and that will then have consequences later. Like we're, um, because we're teaching him about humans, like this is his whole understanding of things and then later something's gonna come from it. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I have thought that uh, the games are gonna be more complex in terms of what the choices provide before, so. I'm willing to admit that it might happen again. Oh, hello. Immediately, mind changed. We're talking about Mitamas now. You just gotta run, right? Oh no, he just lowered their stats. Well, that's fine. They don't run anymore. This is great. I think it's because they're a higher level than us. And that's why they've stopped running as much. This'll do. Okay, week two, fire. Wonderful choice. Um, see, now I could use an item here to do fire damage. If that was what I wanted to do. Although I don't have any items that do fire damage. But you know, in theory, now I could use an item to do fire damage. Um, Agilal? That's good damage. Alright, we now need to hit our Agilal. Perfect. 8,000 experience. That's pretty good. And a simple undershirt item. Okay, and good money. Level up, got a strength, um, magic, and luck. I think I need more magic. Like, honestly, magic seems to be the king in this game so far. Like, magic abilities tend to be the way that you can get through fights quicker. Uh, Recarm, I don't think we need. I don't think we need a res with that few number of skills. It levels. Ooh. <laughs> That one we don't care about. Okay. Keep pushing our way forward. There might be me men around here. Or me mans. I think they have called themselves me mans. So I think that might be the correct way. Hey, saying uh -huh. it. But anyway. Calamity Sutra. Sutra are for your uh, demons. Uh, bombs are for you. I'm not saying that as a, like, a reminder to the audience. I'm more just saying, saying that so I get it in my head. Like it's locked in there. Just keep repeating the same thing, and then eventually I'll remember it when it comes up, opposed to having to look it up again. Right. Uh, we don't care about fighting any of these guys. We already have one, so no reason to fight them. Unless we want XP, but they don't really give a lot of XP. Uh, because we're roughly the same level. In fact, I think we're over-leveled. Inogami's Essence. Nice. Um, that's a new one. Uh, okay, don't really need it. Uh, fire Breath is nice, though. Fire Breath is probably good. 
it will do more damage than uh, Agilal if we wanted to go that direction. I'm lost. I'm very lost. Wait, up here? How do we... Did I miss a turning? Yes, yes I did. See here, there is actually a turning down. If we go down this... Oh wait, this whole bit was a separate bit. But there's also a turning if we... Right at the corner, we could go left, I think. Let's go this way. Jump over here. Jump back to the left. Jump back to the right. It looks like we can turn left here. We can. Cool. That's a little hidden path. You have to pay a lot of attention to the map. They have, like, made that one very, very light. So this just takes you up to the end, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's just a way of skipping the cave, basically. That's what they gave you. I'm going back the other way in case there's a me-man. There might not be, but, like... Ooh, I like the slide. When we got that going, that was good. But, yeah, I'm just checking the other direction for a me-man. Okay. Dogs, we head to the left. We then trick them by going to the right. None of them were interested whatsoever. Okay. Um, hello. There's this huge puddle up ahead. What was it called again? All right, an ocean. Humans call big puddles oceans. Thanks. Appreciate your uh, insights. Um, how do we get up here? It's obviously a jumping puzzle of some kind. How do we get up here? From higher up, maybe? Yeah, from higher up. That's the answer. By jumping puzzle, I mean like, we literally just had to look at where, what was around us. Damn! My jump didn't work. I think my input got eaten. Um, there was lag. Uh, a, a fly f flew in the room. Uh, there was an earthquake. I, I really don't have a good excuse. I'm just making up things that sound plausible. Choose your favorite from the above. Um, right. Incubus Essence. Right. Uh, Incubus. Okay. Gives us resistance to uh, force. That's good. Right. Where are we going? Oh, those are some uh, barrels down there, I think. That's nice. We can grab one. I'm really looking for a save. I don't see a save. Oh, there's the save. Oh, there's the save, actually. There's two saves that we can see from here. We can see that one and that one. All right, let's run to the save first, and then we can figure out what we're doing afterwards. Oh, hello. <laughs> from what I've heard, Lamu comes to these lands because it's a short stopover from this real Tokyo where the humans supposedly live. Oh, okay. Interesting. Hey, listen Will ya? I got something I wanted to ask you. Is that all right? Great. I, I, okay. I've been wondering for a while now, but what's with all these big metal thingies lying around? You mean cars? They're vehicles. Vehicles? Oh, so that's what these are called. Well, what are they for? So these things let you move around without having to get up and walk yourself? That's amazing! Like, super useful. Oh gosh, humans really are incredible. Oh, I wish I could have seen these vehicles zipping around all over the place. It sounds so cool. Weird aside. All right, save. <laughs> I, I just had my eyes on the save the whole time she was speaking. I'm like... I, I gotta get, I gotta get it. I'm, I'm addicted to saving. There we go. There's a save, and actually, go away. You, 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 you have no power here. Right. Actually, I think this is a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching. Next time, we'll ha explore this pier a little bit more. That was the wrong button. Um, there's some things over here. There's some bereths to get. There's a quest. It looks like there. Yeah, there's actually quite a lot before our next main quest, including another save. So, yeah, we've got a lot to explore in this area. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.